Infinite Ouroboros, Mobius's mech type, Lightning Elemental, DPS Battlesuit. Her leader skill increases the total damage dealt by range attacks from the team. It also increases the team's lightning damage for 25 seconds when a summoned entity is present. This buff can be refreshed. Her basic attack is ranged, has 4 sequences, and deals lightning damage. She is also able to move while performing her basic attacks. When performing the 3rd and 4th sequences, she gains increased resistance to interruption and takes 30% less incoming total damage. By tapping on the ultimate button, she will perform her combo attack, which deals lightning damage and has 3 sequences. Tapping the attack button after a combo attack will cause her to perform an enhanced basic attack. The attack can be slightly delayed and can be done for all 3 sequences in the combo. Enhanced basic attacks will also restore additional SP. When performing an enhanced basic attack, Infinite Ouroboros' movement speed is increased, and she gains a barrier capable of blocking one incoming hit. Passively, her combo attacks have a 25% total damage increase, and she takes 60% less incoming total damage when performing them. At double S, her combo attacks gain yet another innate 15% total damage increase and restore 8 SP on hit. Additionally, on hit, her combo attacks will gain up to a 25% lightning damage increase for 3.5 seconds. This buff can be stacked up to 2 times and can be refreshed. The first sequence of the combo attack also has the ability to summon Object X, a summoned entity that can stay on the field for up to 20 seconds. Performing the first combo attack sequence again can refresh its duration. Object X will reduce the movement speed of nearby enemies and pull them slowly towards it. In addition, when Object X is on the field, it causes Infinite Ouroboros to gain a 30% attack speed increase, while also causing enemies on the field to take 25% increased lightning damage. At Triple S, Object X's presence will also cause enemies to take 5% increased total damage. It will also deal lightning damage to surrounding enemies when summoned, or when its duration ends. When performing a combo attack, Infinite Ouroboros will consume 1 Genesis Seed per sequence off her passive gauge. Genesis Seeds can be gained by performing her 4th basic attack sequence or by defeating enemies. A maximum of 3 Genesis Seeds can be stocked. By holding the ultimate button, Infinite Ouroboros will consume 100 SP and perform her ultimate attack, Honkai Activation, pausing all timers during the animation, dealing multiple powerful hits of lightning damage, and restoring 3 Genesis Seeds. Passively, her ultimate attack damage is increased by up to 40%. In addition, she will enter Umbra of Ouroboros for 12 seconds. While in Umbra of Ouroboros, her lightning damage is increased by 25%. Enemies also take 20% increased lightning damage from her. All enhanced basic attacks become surging attacks and restore 1 Genesis Seed on hit. Enemies in Umbra of Ouroboros suffer a 20% attack speed reduction. They can also be linked if hit by the ultimate or combo attack. Up to 5 enemies can be linked, causing 16% of the damage they take to additionally be dealt to other enemies in the link. At S2, Enhanced Combo Attacks and Surging Attacks while Umbra of Ouroboros is active also gain increased lightning damage multipliers. When performing an ultimate evasion, Infinite Ouroboros' evasion skill can be triggered. She activates a global time factor that lasts for 2.5 seconds and enters Submerge Mode, which can last up to a maximum of 2.5 seconds. By tapping the attack button while in Submerge Mode, Infinite Ouroboros will perform a Surging Attack which deals 5 hits of lightning damage and restores 1 Genesis Seed. When enemies are time slowed by teammates or take 15 hits within 3 seconds, Infinite Ouroboros' QTE can be triggered. She enters the field, launching 2 drills, each dealing 15 hits of lightning damage. She also gains 1 Genesis Seed and summons Object X. Additionally, for 16 seconds, her lightning damage is increased by 45%, and enemies take 16% increased lightning damage from her. And finally, as a cross-wielder, Mobius can enter the field with 36 initial SP. When equipping Infinite Ouroboros, her signature weapon, Basilisk Image Death Shroud, is the optimal choice. When deployed, it generates a Serpent Domain, which lasts for 16 seconds. Every 3 seconds, lightning damage will be dealt to enemies in the domain, marking them in the process. Combo attacks from the wielder will consume these marks, dealing additional lightning damage to targets. 
Additionally, enemies in the Serpent Domain will have their movement speed decreased by 20%. Basilis Image Deathshroud's first passive innately increases the lightning damage of its wielder by 45%. The wielder will also gain a 15% lightning damage increase against enemies in the Serpent Domain. The second passive ability increases the total damage of the wielder's combo attacks. On hit, combo attacks will boost the wielder's movement speed and also decrease incoming total damage. When equipped on infinite Ouroboros, one Genesis Seed will be restored if the gauge is empty. This passive has a 10 second cooldown. As an alternative weapon, especially for captains who have not broken through, the Oath of Judah can be exceptionally powerful. With its passive ability, the Holy Light Brand, it is capable of matching every hit dealt by the wielder and team on marked enemies with an extra hit of lightning damage. With the high amount of hits from Infinite Ouroboros' QTE, the Oath of Judah is capable of dealing more damage than even Basilisk Image Death Shroud in certain conditions. While the Oath of Judah does fall off quickly in damage when pit against Basilisk Image Death Shroud, the initial burst of damage is still quite remarkable. The signature Stigmata set for Infinite Ouroboros, Linnaeus, provides multiple total damage and lightning damage buffs for the host and her summoned entities. The T part provides an innate 24% total damage boost to its host and her summoned entities, and provides yet another 15% total damage boost for 3 seconds after a combo attack hits. The M part provides an innate 45% lightning damage boost to its host and her summoned entities. Enemies who are at least 3 meters away from the host deal 30% less total damage. And the B part, with a 36% lightning damage increase on basic, combo, and charge attacks dealt by its host, also restores 1 SP per second if a summoned entity is on the field with the host. The 2 set ability provides a 60% lightning damage buff to its host and her summon entities for 15 seconds when the host summons an entity. This buff can be refreshed. In addition, enemies within 5 meters of the host will boost her movement speed by 25%. And finally, the 3 set ability provides an innate 40% total damage boost to its host. Every summoned entity, elf, or support Valkyrie on the field will provide a 6% total damage boost to its host. This buff can be stacked up to 5 times. Alternatively, the full set of Wang Jianyi is also quite powerful on infinite Ouroboros. While the buffs are not as immediately accessible or powerful as the ones on Linnaeus, the conditions are quite naturally met. As a cost-effective option, Monet T with Ishikawa Goemon M and B can also be equipped. While the playstyle will have to be switched up a little to adapt to the buff conditions, these stigmata are entirely farmable from the Universal Mirage and actually provide a good amount of damage. When forming a team around Infinite Ouroboros, the top picks for just about any situation would be Fallen Rosemary and Princessin Deva Urtailung. For captains using the Oath of Judah against single targets, Princess Endeavor Urtailung's ultimate attack can be extra useful due to the high amount of hits it can dish out. While other elemental supports can be used, none quite match up to the dedicated lightning setup at this point in time. While she does not necessarily replace any other lightning DPS, Infinite Ouroboros can be very strong in specific situations. With how powerful even the low-cost options can make her, she becomes quite a viable battlesuit for even new players to obtain.